Hi, Mina san. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your Philly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with Vinland Saga. This is episode 11 called Kings and Swords. We're going to jump in. Um, I think we're on track to seeing more of Canute probably enter Torfin store, maybe Torfin enter Canute story. Like, I, I think we're getting closer to them um, possibly seeing each other. Um, I know the master, Kitel, is on his way, I think, to pay his res respects to um, his to the brother, right? I, th I think. Maybe that's where we are. <laughs> Something like that. So we're going to jump in, obviously, and see what happens. So uh, very exciting. I <sighs> love this show. I hope you all are enjoying this show, too. It's just like there's just, mm, just all the like themes of just like grief and guilt and like redemption and like understanding and empathy. It just like oh, it just makes this show just so. On top of that, like, you know, the violence is, the battles are fun too. Like, very violent, obviously, but uh, they're also great. So, um, but yeah, let's see what happens. So if you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media. Okay, so we're still, okay, so it's Canute. Yeah, I want to see him fight. Let's see this. He's, he's quite tired. Oh. Ooh. Babe, calm down. He's got to learn. He's got to... He got... Nice. Ooh. <laughs> I love everyone's excitement. Let's... <laughs> oh, is he training with armor on purpose? <laughs> I get it. I'm kind of there with you. Because, like, one one bad mistake. Oh. Mate. Jeez. I mean, maybe he is that great of a swordsman. Yeah, yeah. He must be. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. I like this man with the eye patch. I like his little braid. Oh. It's a, is he crushing on her? Oh. Distracting. He's, is he going to distract him? He can, yep, he's gonna look and get knocked out. Yep. That's what he's gotta do. That's what he gotta do. Huzzah! No one? I... I clap. <laughs> he knows how to use people's weakness against them. So, like, that's... That's, that's a fighter. You don't always have to be the strongest. Oh, so it's just where... Uh, uh, Ketel is coming in. Or Ketel. Mm. Wish the people won't like that. Damn. People are not gonna like that. Absolutely. No one wants their tax raises. Okay, I'm glad he can think about that. That's good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so what are you going to do about that? Yeah, so are we going to go north to like Ireland or hop over to Scotland? Wait a minute. Go north to Scotland or hop over for Ireland. There we go. I got it. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. At least he's thinking. I like the way he thinks. <laughs> what do you got? Keep just like the very, very best. Okay. Man, he is in a tough spot. There's so much to think about. Mm. Oh. 
right. All right. I like that he's really thinking. Like, he... I I knew he had the mind of King. And, and you know, even with fighting, too, like, he's not the strongest. He He's breathing hard. But, like, he knows how to still win the match, even though he's not the strongest. So he can come up with good ideas, which makes a great king. Like, options are important. Oh, my gosh. I don't trust his son, but, boy, he is handsome. He'd be a... I'd talk to him. <laughs> Hmm. Well, you know, poison does that, so. There you go. Diplomacy. Let's go. Oh, gosh. What does he do now? I just want some, like, stupid... Doopy derpy music for him. <laughs> what is he gonna get into? But he's. But he is a child, yeah! He's, I know! He's not you! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no! Such a dweeb. Why are you doing this? So dumb. He's about to get his ass whooped. Just punch him. Oh. Oh, I have a sword. Oh, I have a sword too. Let me, let me. So dumb. So dumb. So... Oh. He's gonna get himself in trouble. We need more derpy music than this, please. Oh my god. Is he dropping his sword? No. Okay. The re... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. Come on. Come on, Dad! Because he's a derpy son! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, <gasps> is that Leaf? They just, I love how we just keep, ah, uh, inter, uh, uh, intertwining. If, if that is him, maybe, maybe someone else has that haircut. Yeah. I, oh my gosh. The whole, the, the world's just too small. That's what it is. We think it's so big, but it's not. <laughs> He's a dork. They're all dorks. <gasps> Is he gonna say that he has a slave named Torfin? Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh man, I wish that would have like. I guess it's probably a common name. <sighs> I'm so excited. This is what... <gasps> Can he just see him? I will... I'm not. I'm already forcing myself not to cry if they go today. <sighs> because I have to watch more. But... <sighs> oh, yeah. So we gotta wa worry about weather, too. Damn. No, he wants to meet you. I'm so, every the more I stare at Torgil, I'm just like hi. I'm like hi. Can I make you food? That's where I'm at. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this is a good. 
Okay. Omar, shut the fuck up, son. Yeah, be quiet. The whole damn time. Take the sword away from him. Oh my gosh, not this belt. It all looks great. Okay. Hmm. Yes, they are. Farmers are important. Oh, no. God damn. No. No. This is why we leave him by the cart. Uh, yeah, let him shovel the horse poop. <sighs> you don't draw the sword in... Um, yeah, you don't... I know that. I know. Other... <laughs> Hopefully you find this amusing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the jet ski. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got, homie. I mean, I'm rooting for him. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Cutting at all. <laughs> Boy, Dad. And the son's just disgruntled face. <laughs> what a dweeb. <laughs> he tried, you know. <laughs> Just, you know, may maybe aspire to different things. Mm. Very true. Very true. And like he would get someone else killed very quickly. So are we going to... What? How? Why? Mm, I'm, I'm a bit ab um, upset here. Because, like, re requisition, like, that means they're going to take over that land. So are they not... Someone might have to explain that to me if I'm interpreting this wrong, but it sounds like they're going to be taking over his farm, which I don't know why they couldn't just do what they're doing right now. Like, it's just so that they can just have have the crops for free and then use it themselves to make a profit. Like, I'm... Okay, so, so clearly here's where the conflict will happen when they're taking over the farm. Torfin and Einar's work, by the way. Um... And so there'll be conflicts. So I don't know if they're going to fight the soldiers. But at the same time, it's a small farm. Like, all they have is Snake and his group. I mean, Einar and Torfin. And I, but I don't know if uh, Torgil would go against Canute's wishes. So I don't know. I don't know what the sun is going to... Wow. Okay. Well, here we are. Here we are in, in the next phase of whatever is about to happen. So all the peaceful yada yada happiness is, is about to go out the window, which is stressful. And that's unfortunate because I really like uh, Ketil. I really, really like him. And he's a good, honest man. So it's just like, it's unfortunate if something bad is going to happen to him, to his home. I don't know. I wish I wish there were like other options, but maybe this is like the easiest, safest option for a canoe. But I'm just like, I don't know. That makes me very upset. Um, and so they'll be using Omar as a, as an instrument in his plan. So. <sighs>
But yeah, so we'll see how that goes with Torfin and Canute potentially, you know, clashing again, which would be so frustrating because it's just like Canute is ruining Torfin's peace. Like, I mean, because like Torfin's finally come to a good spot in his life and here comes Canute kind of ruining things for him again. He did it with Ashglad and now he's going to do it again with his like his peace and, and his his ability to be reborn. So, ugh, okay, well, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next reaction. Bye.